The Biden administration is proposing new rules stopping schools and colleges across the country from enacting outright bans on transgender athletes. The potential rule specifically updates Title IX, which ensures students are not discriminated against based on sex. The proposal does give some room for exceptions, though. It would allow K-12 schools and universities to restrict, in some cases, where the participation of a trans student athlete undermines the fairness on the field, or it could lead to injuries. Joining me now is Haley Davidson, a transgender golfer who has advocated for trans representation in sports. The proposal still has to go through a public comment period before it takes effect, but do you see this as a step forward or a step backward for trans rights? Honestly, I I do see it as a step forward. Um, I I think there are times where our community may need to step back, and you know, in this case, it's it, it is a step in the right direction. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. And I think sometimes we need to kind of keep that in mind that we can't go from, say, the state we are in now to, you know, 100 percent us having rights in every single way. So, you know, it, it is a step, but there is a I, there's definitely a lot to a lot that needs worked on. I'm curious. So what's your response to those who say this proposal could undermine competitive fairness or even lead to injuries? It, we haven't seen it happen yet. Um, I, I think we we do need to kind of keep that in mind. And, and I know this is brought up a lot when legislators are, are asked, you know, for examples of trans athletes in their states. And it, it's very few and far between that we actually get an answer for that. So, you know, while one day it's going to be great if we have something in place, you know, again, it's looking for an answer that, you know, for a problem that doesn't truly exist. And, you know, again, there it's so much more complex than anyone can make it. Even this, in a way, is sort of something blanket that's going to affect all 50 states. But, you know, as, as we all know, um, this is different state to state. So I think, you know, unfortunately for now, you almost need to treat it as that. And mm-hmm. again, be a bit more specific on it. Yeah. Speaking of different states, though, the ACLU says it's tracking more than 450 anti-LGBTQ bills across the country, across the United States. What's your reaction to that? It's 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 one after another every day. And it Mm -hmm. it's interesting. While a lot of them may not affect me because I'm a professional athlete, I'm over 18, um, you know, it's almost it's almost feeding a narrative on itself. You know, uh, I know something that gets brought back on us a lot is say the, the suicide rate or the mental health of trans people. Um, but again, it, it's all of these laws and, and the hate towards the community that actually causes those issues to begin with. So it's almost like a self-feeding narrative. Um, uh, you know, again, I, I think it's just breaking through that because, you know, as much as we can do, um, you know, these things, that they are going to happen for the foreseeable future. Um, and I think it's just keeping our head high and knowing that, you know, if you put in the work, uh, again, Rome's not going to be built in a day. So you need to really, you know, take things step by step. And, and kinda, I think our community needs to see small wins a, a bit more than, again, as, as much as something large is, is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um Sometimes you just need to be a little more realistic with those things. And uh, it's like with anything, you can't change, you know, go from zero to 100. You really need to, as much as the hate may be going that way, um, you know, it does take a little bit longer. And I think we just might need to realize that. All right. Haley Davidson, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.